All right, guys. Welcome. Oh, no. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, you don't want me to kiss you? I, I, see I, I didn't. I think we're safe for a minute. Okay, okay guys. Welcome back. We're starting this video in the monkey cage to give you an update on Kaylee and Toby. And we'll do that in a second. But first, I want to tell you what this video is a little bit about. We went out herping the other night. Herping means going to look for reptiles. Found a couple of pythons. Ah! <laughs> 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 hey, okay, wait, wait. She's gonna stay. She's gonna stay. A thing oh about to the pythons we caught is they Ooh. have big fat bellies. So there's obviously meals in them, and we're curious what it is. Is it a bird? Is it a rat? Is it not a cat? And what is it? You know? We go back to eighth grade science class, do some dissection. So if you're squeamish like this big tough man here, then just skip. So oh! She's coming back. <laughs> then just skip to the end of this video. Okay. Sorry, it's very hard for us to focus She's on the here. intro because we're in a cage with monkeys. <laughs> Pythons are invasive, but of course we love all animals. <laughs> but we do love native wildlife, and unfortunately, the pythons, once they get a certain size, nothing competes with them except a few alligators. And you know, we love all wildlife, and as much as we love, you know, all types of snakes, it is important to uh, prioritize, especially being reptile people, prioritize our native wildlife and pythons. Not only do they eat mammals and birds and oh, the reptiles, they... <laughs> they outcompete some of our favorite animals like rattlesnakes. So I would much rather see rattlesnakes than seeing pythons. So it is very, very important to remove pythons when we do see them. So it is unfortunate. And we're gonna show you what they have been eating because we get asked a whole lot because we have pythons in our yard. That's why we have these two layers of fencing. They cost us a lot of money here, um, having to put all this extra protection for our animals. Let's go show you a little bit of Toby and Kaylee playing. Kaylee is doing really good. If you you guys are new she's followers. She's coming back, she's coming Kaylee back. Kaylee is that crazy monkey jumping around. She's one of our newest additions. Let's just like add a link to that video for yeah, any new followers so, right so they could kind of meet Kaylee. Her and Toby are doing great together. They're little buddies. Okay. Oh my she also loves us and this is her playing with us. She jumps and hugs and yeah. you can see she play bites and she's, ah, oh, she's back. <laughs> oh no, she's coming back. She's coming back. Oh. What are you? And she's my ear. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just got mauled. Oh no. Did you see her what are you doing, silly monkey? Blueberries? Yeah. Blueberry girl, here you go. Look at them <laughs> wrestling. You crazy monkey. Oh, now. Kaylee, okay, give me a break. A break, please. Oh gosh, here she comes. Oh! <laughs> you see that? It's a lump inside of a Burmese python. So this is a Burmese python from South Florida. Like it had consumed some type of presumably native wildlife. And that'd be kind of interesting to open it up. Hey, I got gloves for you. Please wear gloves. I already touched it. But Why? for the whatever's in the middle, you're any glove. Why? That'll just be so gross. Let me let me grab you a glove. Why would you do it now? Because whatever's inside is going to be like... Just one? We'll see if we can even tell what it is. I think it's going to be a bird. Mm -hmm. What do you think it's going to be? Rabbit? We were rabbit or bird. Rabbit or bird. And we think there's another small meal and another snake. And we'll check it out. And I'm the one cutting it open because Rhett gets very queasy for these things. Oh. Oh. These like flies need to chill. Hold on, fogging. The humidity is insane here. Wait, hold on. Go. The humidity is insane here in South Florida, so it takes the cameras a minute to adjust. Oh man, that is nasty. Oh gosh. Okay. Really gross, Tay. Yeah, it's already coming apart. Here. Can you tell what bird it is, Rhett? No, I need to get the bird out. Hold out. Hold out. 
Woof. Woof. It's a tricolored heron. Here is a beautiful tricolored heron that has not been consumed by a python. And as sad as this is, we think it's important to show people what happens when invasive species are introduced to an ecosystem. It's believed there's a decline in mammals. It's thought that pythons have turned to wading birds and smaller alligators as their primary food source. Florida is full of amazing wading birds. So it's important to try and remove as many pythons as possible. Looks like it might have a fresh meal in it too. Hopefully it doesn't smell nearly as bad. It's fat deposits. What is that? Bird? Mm, it's a mammal. Oh, they both look so fresh, but they digest fast, huh? Rat? Yeah, some sort of rat. Okay, here you go. Tay, what? you're much braver than me. All right, guys. That was pretty gross, mm -hmm. but it was, uh, you know, pretty unfortunate. It did eat a tricolored heron, which is a native uh, bird. It was pretty um, digested. But again, that's, you know, that's one of the issues of Wait, invasive. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What smelled worse, my breath or the digested? Your garlic breath from <laughs> yeah. eating salsa earlier by far. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. So make sure to like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.